Hey film fans, you're watching Octopody with Craig and George. And uh, well, we're going to do a very quite a quick episode today because a bit of big Bond news came up over the weekend. It did indeed, yeah. Um, what happened was uh, a internet website called uh, obviously an internet website, not just like the the newspaper. The newspaper, website, yeah. But um, a website called The Vulture uh, printed out a story uh, that Tom Hardy is going to be the new Bond. That he's definitely going to be Bond, and it was going to that it's only ever going to be him. It was only going to be him, and he's going to be announced before the end of the year, possibly even before No Time to Die comes out. Ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, George, what do you think of that? that well, a lot of uh, newspapers ran with it. They must have believed it. So a lot of newspapers ran with the story, uh, the Mirror, the Express, people like that. So what do you reckon? Do you think it's true? Shambles. Shambles. Is my only word for it. What? The, that it's come out this early, mm-hmm. before the next films even come out. I think that's like disrespectful in its own right. Mm. Um, I just, I, I don't know why. I know Tom Hardy's been on the books for years and years, but I just think what we've spoken about before, about growing into a role and finding these actors who haven't really done too much, Tom Hardy's on the other end of the scale. I mean, I think it, one thing I just want to make clear, it's obviously total rubbish, isn't it? It is total rubbish, yeah. It was an unverified source. They never said like who their source was or anything like that. Um, it seems to just be rumours or something like that. But anything these days, as soon as yeah, someone yeah. hears something, they <clears> run with it. And uh, he's a, and and then none of it makes sense. Why would they announce it before? Before, yeah. The like, the next. It's almost like you're saying, "Oh, don't bother about this three hundred million pound movie we just we just made." Do you know what I mean, be interested like, for Tom Hardy coming in the next how many ever years exactly. it takes for him to produce a new film? Because like we said, can you imagine Daniel Craig on the uh, red Press carpet? Releases, yeah, yeah. And just like, oh, can you tell us about uh, Tom Hardy and what you think, Tom Hardy? Be like, Sh- shut up about Tom Hardy. This is about me. About this is my time. Me. I decided to come back again. I didn't want to. I did. I pleased the lot of you. So, obviously, it's not true. No. But if it was, I'm not going think? to see it. You're not going to see it? I will, yeah. You just won't, won't I will go. see it, yeah. But I'll be sitting there watching thinking, what's Ronnie Cray doing on the big screen? Do you think he's a bad choice for Bond, then? I, I, no, because everything we speak about, yes, he's handsome. Yes, he's, I guess, hard. He's, he's, I don't know, he, he could be a good Bond, but I just think from the case of him being a well-known actor, no, it's not a good choice at all. They usually go, like we said before, we said it on the podcast about who's the best Bond, they usually go for up-and-coming actors, Yep. TV actors, don't they, people like that, yeah, or, or people who've done a few films. films. They don't go for people who are established pretty much. He's like an A-list actor. He's an Oscar-nominated actor. He is, yep. He's done big films like Venom, where he's the star. He's not like an up-and-coming actor, is he? Revenant, did he? Do he's got yeah. Oscar-nominated for Revenant. Yeah, so like, mumbling his way through it for three hours. Yeah, I know. But, um, <laughs> but they, it's not their style, is it? No, it's not. It's, it's completely out of character for Eon to even they think about it. They like to maintain strict control over their movies. Hundred percent. And if you bring someone in like Tom Hardy, he's going to he's going to sit in that director's chair yeah. and say how he wants it done. Yeah, that's exactly. not how that. It's not how they do things. I don't. Think I mean, they're Daniel like Craig it. apparently is like it now, but that's only after like he's done seven. Oh. That's fair enough. Oh, he ain't done seven. seven. I, I know, I, mean, I know, but he's done after a few. the first couple of hits. Then he became a lot more involved in the that's, story. That's that's fair enough, but I, I don't know that he'll he'll want that from the off. He'll change things he don't like. He'll change actors, actresses he don't like. He'll he'll rule the roost. And I think that'll just ruin the character itself, I think, personally. Will he bring too much back? I mean, you said it yourself. You don't want to see Ronnie Cray playing James No, Bond. I don't. So... I don't want to feel like I'm just seeing a, a, a posher version of Ronnie Cray on the screens. Because, yeah, if you, want to, if you want to go and see him be kind of like a, a hard man or whatever, just go and watch Legend or whatever. Just, exp- you know. He's got... He's got. He's a great actor. He is. So he yeah, could don't do get it. me wrong. He could, he could do, do it. it. Yeah. He's got nothing. But maybe he could have done it ten years ago. Yeah. If, maybe. Uh, maybe he could have done it if, J- if Daniel Craig didn't do it. If he was like younger. Yeah, younger. And he hadn't done some of the big films he'd done now. Then yeah, you think yeah, Tom Hardy. Yeah. I just think it's too late for him. You know, it's when they look at like it's, you know when they're looking at the Idris Elbas and 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 Tom Hardys and stuff. They're all over forty now. Yeah. Personally, they need to go back to someone who's in their thirties, like Daniel Craig was at the beginning, and grow into it. Because you've got a future-proof bond. You need it, it for a couple of years. You need it for a couple of it years. It takes like three, three years now, maybe more sometimes, to get a new bond film out there. So they need something 100%. Young. Before they used to churn them out every six months. Yep. The other thing is, 
they Tom Hardy would just be like Daniel Craig again. He'd just be a hard man, wouldn't he? Yeah, rock He'd and have, roll. He might have tattoos this time and a beard and be a bit more unkempt and stuff. But yeah, but then I I think to myself that it's it's not Bond. That's not Bond for me. Yeah, but would yeah, but I mean they can always mix it up a little bit. They could do. But then they've already done the brutal Bond. And maybe and so ne- basically what they're going to come back with, Bond is back with a brutal edge and Even a beard. Even more brutal. This time he's got a beard. <laughs> this time he that comes with a beard. That could be the name the film. Of the film. Golden beard or something like that. <laughs> man with the golden beard. Man with a <laughs> titanium beard <laughs> and bad boy tattoos. Exactly, yeah. It just it don't sound right. It really doesn't sound right. And I know we're, we're getting myself, I'm getting myself worked up. You are getting it's, very agitated about this. And it's not even... <laughs> It's not even a true thing. It's not even come out, but you can tell how I'll be if it if ever does get announced. It, do you really not really want, really don't want Tom Hardy? To hey, look, it's anything. nothing against him personally. If, like if you're listening to it, this Tom, look, I haven't got that much of a problem. <laughs> he's about coming here. now. Yeah. I know he's going to he come would. for me now. I know, but I just think he's driving all the way back down from North to London yeah. one night. Yeah. On the phone. It, it sounds like a film he's done. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say he's locked. Uh, he's coming back. <laughs> he's going to come back. I'm going to go down there to London and I'm going to kill him. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. This is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing you don't, you're not too keen on it. No. See, what I think, what, what I've heard and stuff, Robbie Collin on the uh, the Telegraph, uh, the film critic there, he wrote an article basically saying, nope, no, 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 no way in hell. Going, yeah. He's the greatest, he's so sexy, he's, he's the greatest actor around. And yeah, he's he, really a great actor. Yeah. But doesn't mean he should be James Bond. No. It seems wrong. It seems like you want a new face, don't you? You do, yeah. You, you want, want something, something a little new. bit different. I want something new. Something exciting. I do think that sometimes when you see the same old actors cast again and again in the thing, you like sometimes you just want a new, like this is going to be a new star. And you go, wow, we've got a new star coming. Is um, that how you felt with Daniel Craig? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. like, yeah, I've cool. seen him in Low Cake and stuff. And then watching Low Cake, you're like, wow, this is a new, I've, I've heard of him a little bit, but this is his first big role. Yeah. And then when he did James Bond, you're like, this is his first big, 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 big thing. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. 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 So it's, and he's a bit surprising. I don't know what they're going to do. Whereas Tom Hardy, he probably it's a safe bet. He's very difficult, apparently. Yeah, I hear. I don't know him. Uh, he can be quite. I've heard he's a bit. Yeah, he's going to be difficult. And Eon, I just can't imagine Eon never going for something like that unless they're going to bet the farm on it and say, right, we're going to give him loads of money, one shot. Imagine if they did that, just like it's just one film only. Yeah, George, okay, he Tom does Hardy. a George Lazenby. And then that's what I like. Just go and see it before you can. That like, this is Tom Hardy's one, one and done. And then I don't think I'll go for that. I mean, Robbie Collin, he was pushing for um, Henry Golding. I've heard of him. He's the guy from The Gentleman. Yeah. And uh, Simple Favor. Yeah. He used to do the travel show on BBC as well. Uh, very handsome. Thirties. In his thirties. There you go. Six foot. And he's ticking the boxes. He is. Uh, his mum's English. I know his dad's oh, English. Oh, there you go. His mum's Malaysian. Oh, so he's okay. got a bit like kind of that. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, that Asian kind of look to him. So yeah. they were going to go for someone who was a, a little bit different, a bit more, yeah, a bit more modern, a bit more progressive kind of thing. And, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that. no, that's and he's very cool. smart, suave, very handsome. And I think that could be where they're going. Like, like we've done the tough bond. Let's get back to the smooth bond and the funny bond, that kind of thing. Like yeah, that. they and could, they could, they could go back into the Brosnan and go something a bit, bit smaller. They reckon it's a bit smaller scale. Well, you were saying that with obviously with all what's going on in the world at the moment. Yeah. Um, See, this is the thing. They're not going to be able to film it next year. Probably. No, they're not. No, so they're not going to. Uh, by the time they start filming it, it's twenty twenty two, and then be well into his forties. Yeah, and then what a release by twenty twenty four? The three four? I don't 24, know. Three four, and he's like going to be forty eight then. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. So you're not going to get many more out of him. No, I don't, I don't think know. you will. So it, it, it seems it's like with, with Idris Elba, yeah, a few years ago maybe, but he's now f- nearly 50, Idris Elba, isn't he? Pretty yeah. much in a couple of years. Tom Hardy at the moment is 43. There you go. And Idris Elba is 48. Yeah, that's not so that's, that's not going to work. You get one out of them. You get one and one and done. And that's maybe. not and that's not what and Bond they've got their be. other things on as well. They've got other films that they want to do. They're big enough now that they've got their own films. Of course, on. yeah, of course. They're not going to want to catch. They have other projects. Do Bond forever now, are they? No, you need. Well, to find... a young actor who's come up and coming might be we'll, like, yeah. We'll no, be committed to Bond, and then by the time they finish it, then yeah, maybe go on and do, do uh, other things. Do right. some other things, you know. That's yeah. why I think someone should start when they're like maybe, maybe early to mid thirties. I I personally think you look at the tenures of Connery, more. 
when they did what like plus six plus films. I think Moore, that's what you Moore need. was like forty five when he. I know he was. I know he was. But that's what I'm saying. You can. And then he was well old. When yeah, he, he was well old. So you but don't, they were you making don't get films every year almost. Yeah, they were. They, that's the thing. But so maybe you know you need to set a target of at least doing four or five. So personally, because again, it's that it's that storytelling. You shouldn't jump in straight away with Tom Hardy being old. And then you can imagine two, three years later, if there's a new one, it'd be Bond returns in. Yeah. Unless you, Bond, I don't unless know. Unless it's like Daniel Craig. He went from like in yeah. Casino Royale from to, being the, the young agent. And then two year films later, they're like, you passed it, man. You passed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I get that. 100%. Whereas uh, Tom Hardy, like, unless that's what they could go for that. Like, he's a bit of an older Bond. Some people were saying, well, Tom Hardy doesn't look old. He's got quite a baby face. He's quite fit. <sighs> yeah. He doesn't look old. Yeah, but then who can say that's going to be the same story in five years' time? <laughs> he might have a hard five years. He might have, he might have a rough Daniel five Craig years. did. He always looked a little bit rough, didn't he? Yeah, he did a little bit, yeah. I um, think he did. Yeah. So he's kind of weathered, isn't he? Yeah, yeah I think so. And I think, <laughs> and I think Hardy could be weathered as well because you know. <laughs> who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Who knows? Like <laughs> anything could happen in the, in showbiz now. Do you he know? might have a tough few years, and it takes a toll on him, <laughs> and he'll look old. So. He's a bit, um, not that this is a massive deal because they've always got movie magic and stuff, but he's five foot eight. Aren't we all? Exactly. It's the same height <laughs> as me. Exactly, yeah. And, uh, okay, like, maybe we've got to move away from the fact that he's got to be a, this tall guy. Yeah, I don't think he has to. I think he'll be shown. Have you seen, you've not seen Tenant yet, have you? No. Tenant. They've got uh, Elizabeth Debicki. Right. She's like well over six foot. Right. And John David Washington, who's the hero in it, he's like five foot eight. I think he's telling me this. And literally the scenes were like she's he's like, like towering over him yeah. and they just don't bother to hide it, which is great, it's cool. Yeah. It should be like it's a good line, like, it's good. Yeah, you shouldn't, good she shouldn't hide yeah, it. She shouldn't have hide the fact no. that she's taller. She's not like Tom Cruise where every time he does a film the, the has woman to be, has to sit down he has, he, has to be the, he has to be the tallest person on set, even though he's the smallest. But then if you're James Bond and he's like getting towered over by a lady. No, I think you'd like it. I think I'd like it. Yeah, Towering by six then. foot Swedish blonde models. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't know. know. That can, that can make for a good bond. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a problem with it. But... No, exactly. <laughs> so It's always been a thing, but... Yeah, I mean, the media will always have a stick to beat them with. Of course. I mean, Daniel Craig, they didn't like him because he had blonde hair. And they were like... Bond can't be blonde. That's what they were like. That's what they but were literally, like. Literally, the, um, the headline in the mirror, I think, the day after was like, James Blonde. And it was like... <laughs> and so... then... Uh, it was better than the Suns one, which was like James Bland. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that was the, that was the headline, James Bland, and you're like, oh dear. <laughs> so it's better than that. So, so overall, know. you're not. You, you would be not, too I'm happy not, if it I'm was true, true no. which we don't think it was true. It sounds absolute rubbish. When you when you when you sent it to me, I was like, what? And then it's just because it appeared everywhere. I know. I know. Well, well, even, even, even even it got through. Like even my mum sent it to me. I yeah, was in like, the no, mainstream. Yeah, press it got I was everywhere. like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was, this is getting out of hand. There's no denials from Eon. True, there has been no denials. But then, do they want not want to dignify that story with an answer? Maybe so. Maybe they just think that's, that's a thing. load of old Coswell. We ain't yeah. agreeing to that because it, it Enjoy, happens all the time. Look forward to Daniel Craig. Remember, He's coming sometime this year. Maybe next. Maybe next year now. Yeah, because all the stuff that's happening and stuff, yeah. the cinemas and things. Uh, pff, maybe next year. We're going to be able to see it past 10 o'clock, are we? Maybe now, that's so. it. Maybe Tom Hardy will never get a chance because he's going to be waiting for this one to come out. And yeah, it, it don't come out till 2027 now. So. Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> so not. it'll be too old then, yeah. But no, I think I think just personally, I know it's uh, maybe uh, it could be I could be being like quite you know ageist and say it's got to be a, yeah, a mid thirties person. But I'm not talking from that point of view. I'm just talking from the point of view logistics. Logistics is you got to do four or five now minimum, realistically, to show off a good range of what you can do. Personally, it's kind of what's expected, isn't it? Like, it's, it's kind of what's expected. Four, you know, you can't just be bond and do one mission and be like, I'm out. He could do that. Make actually for a quite good story. That's what I just said. Like maybe he could do that. Maybe he could do that. Maybe he could do. It. And then at the end, he goes, "Now I'm too old for this already. Uh, this was that. This was already tough. I don't know how." Make it into this. a proper movie. Just a one-off film. Get a big name director in. True. Go all in on it and just be like, "Look, this is it. This is one-off. This is a one-off Bond thing where yeah. anything can happen. Anything goes." True. That could be quite cool. Or whether they would never do that. They would never do that. No. It'd be like, "Look, anything goes. Forget about everything else. It doesn't matter what's going to come after. This is just it. Tom Hardy." 
with Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> Martin Scorsese, doing something like that. Yeah, like exactly. That doing, uh... <laughs> Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro yeah, exactly. as the uh, baddies. As the baddies. Yeah. That would be quite, quite cool. That would be quite good, actually. Yeah, don't steal our idea, Dion. <laughs> um, but right. no, I don't know. Overall, it's not something I'd be a fan of. I'm not going to... I can't... I'm going to say no more about the subject. Because no, it's not... No. No, it's not. We've we've dignified a, I think a, is, a, yeah. a minor response to this it. This is kind of like a clickbaity kind of thing. It is a little bit, like. and, and I, I've kind of I've bitten. I have bitten. Yeah, I, don't I know. have bitten. You I know, know you clicked on it. I, I did click it. Yeah, you, you did because you sent it to me. I was like, I pushed your. What's buttons. that all about? And I was like, no. I'm surprised that. Well, uh, I'm surprised I'm not up for it. But then again, maybe if, maybe if you would have sent it to me again ten years ago, I'd have been like, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, it might be. But when I got it, I was just like, really. It just seemed a bit unimaginative. It just seemed to be like that's a safe bet, and that's a bit of a wrong bet. I think go for someone a little bit. It'd be the same. I think the same with Henry Cavill. Henry Henry Cavill was almost too much like James Bond. He's almost yeah, like the cartoon no version sense. of James Bond. I mean, he's, he's sorry, is he British or American? He's British. Okay. But then I'll just see him and I'll be like, what's Superman doing in a James exactly. Bond film? That's the thing. It's like it, yeah. going, like, you wouldn't find a piece of toast in your cornflakes box, would you? What so, are you talking about? I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't know. You just, I don't mix, don't mix roles. Don't do it. Just find someone who's not really done much. You can't compare him to most other things as well, which I think is a good thing. Just compare him for doing the one thing that he wants to do, which is Bond. That's okay. it. That's I, how I get what you're saying. Someone. I do get what you're saying. Like... I don't. Ju- I don't compare uh, uh, Daniel Craig's Bond to the guy who didn't lay a cake. Because no, I don't think so. it's a big enough role to, no. for me to say. Yeah, remember that? Well, I can't even remember his name in Layer Cake. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> Does he? Oh, true. That is the whole story. <laughs> is this what I mean? That's why. Right, so yeah. That's why. Maybe they knew. Maybe they. Maybe Daniel Craig said, "Don't give me a name because people case, just I'm going to play James Bond." Exactly. That's what I think. I got a feeling. Actually, that's quite clever. I have got a feeling I'm going to play James Bond. Did he really not have a name? It doesn't have a name in it. That's quite cool, actually. I need to rewatch it. Yeah, it's been uh, yeah no, let's like that. Um, the geezer in Tenet doesn't have a, as a name either. Oh, maybe that's the new way of doing things. Maybe just don't bother. They shouldn't even call him James Bond. No. In the unknown. Not even unknown. Just nothing. Just don't even mention his name. 007. They'd be like, and they could keep teasing it out, couldn't they? Because they could be like, um, like, yeah, they keep teasing it out. Like, he goes to like the casino and they're like, can I take your name, please, sir? And he's about going about to say it. And you think, oh, he's going to say James Bond, James Bond. And then, like, someone comes behind him with a gun. Or, like, someone comes over and everyone just like a, spills a drink. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, exactly. Or <laughs> someone like, really comes over and goes, yeah, name. Martini. Yeah. And they can right. keep teasing it out. Yeah, they the could do. The yeah. And then at the end of the film, they go, What's your name? And he goes, <laughs> and that'll be it. That'll be good, wouldn't it? I reckon you could go a whole we film. We could just do that without him saying his name. It yeah. seems like a bit of a pointless exercise, but we could try it. It's never been done before. Never been done. We might as well try it. <laughs> <laughs> got to mix it up somehow. Have you so, got any more you want to add nah, to No, I think subjects? that's. I think we've said enough already. Haven't we? I've got it off my. You got it off your chest. I've got it off my. This bum is like chest. therapy for you. It is a little bit. Yeah, it's like... a week. Imagine in the world where Tom Hardy is James Bond. Yeah, I think we'd be in a bleaker place. <laughs> the world would be a bleaker place. <laughs> the <newer> he is. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, look, I, I can't say much. If he is, then yeah, you know, I'll go and watch it. Yeah, best of luck to them. Yeah, best of luck yeah. to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, You're gonna have more money than I ever will in my life. Is Enjoy that what it. this is all about? So. Maybe I'll maybe, maybe a bit. bit Jealous, a bit chad jealous because yeah. it's not they're not talking because it you. could be or it could have been you up there and I could have supported you and been like, could have been me. Up there. I'm five eight, I know you are. I've got a beard, you are in your mid 30s. I'm in the right <laughs> age for it as well. I'm in my mid 30s. I'm right, I've got, got if they want to go, if they want to go for a direction of a beard, I, I could do it for another 15 years. I reckon you've not been any, in anything else. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is what saying. It's okay. already. There's no, there's no prior like things. People are going to be like, well, Craig Adger is Ian Fleming, James Bond. Maybe They'll we like, should, maybe we should write into the vulture and then be like, oh, unknown actor Craig Adger. We'll just start making, and up. then it'll blow up. I'll and stick then, it on my blog. Yeah, exactly. And see if it blows up. Exactly. <laughs> right. And then my mum would be then, coming to me with her daily mail going, oh, Craig yeah, Adji, exactly. Bond, question yeah. mark. And then Eon, if we do it enough, Eon would be just have to go along with it. Yeah, because everyone would be uproaring Imagine if that. you're not Bond. Yeah, they'd be That'd like be that. quite cool. Have I got a part in your film? No. Mine. <laughs> that was quite brutal. <laughs> well, I'm just going to let... Obviously, I, if I, I become I, a big star, I'd just leave everyone else behind. Can I, I be your apprentice? My apprentice. 0098, uh, 0017. That could be it. We could, it could be like a little buddy movie. Yeah, 0017. Like, Bond, you've got a new partner. I'm sticking you with a new partner. <laughs> and they'll be like... And then you'll be out going out to get what? a drink and I'll be like, oh, I'm too young. You're kidding me, Chief. I can't have a partner. I'm, I work alone. I'm James Bond. And then she, and be, and be, M will be like, this is your new... You guys are partners, that kind of thing. And <laughs> be like, like, he's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> like that, wouldn't he? Like, we're like, this guy's a little dweeb. 
<laughs> his little kids. <laughs> like he's fresh out of the academy, 004 or whatever. <laughs> I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> you just don't give me no ideas. I like. know <laughs> oh, someone will steal all the ideas. Um, I think that's enough. I think, that's I enough. think everyone's had enough, haven't they? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I, that's it, I guess, guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> More episodes on the way. More episodes on the way at some point. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did like it, hit like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if uh, you want to hear more, then hit subscribe. Uh, that's it, I guess. Stay safe. Stay safe out there, guys. Uh, Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye.